Hello friends, I bought my first kayak from Three Waters, it's called Big Fish 105. This one is uh, 89 to 90 pounds in weight. This is 10.5 feet. The Big Fish 120 is 12.5 uh, feet. I didn't want it something that big, so I chose the Big Fish 105. I have not used it yet. I just got it delivered a couple of days ago. And I was thinking, you know, how to transport my kayak from home to the lakes or creeks or rivers or wherever I want to go. I have a 2008 Forerunner, as you can see. I did put the kayak mounts on the top. So we bought two kayaks. The other one is Pelican Icon XP 150 Angler. So I was gonna, I'm actually planning to put this one on top because this one weighs around 49, 50 pounds. I have a knee problem, so I just didn't want to haul my big fish and the icon both on top at the same time. So I decided, you know, let me see if this fits in my forerunner. So all I had to do is just put those seats down, the, you know, the, the back seats are all the way down. Let me show you. I, I was not able to find too many videos to transport 10.5 or 11, 12 feet kayaks. I mean, I did find some videos, but you know, not that many. As you can see, I folded my seat and the back, you know, the back seat, it folds nicely. As you can see inside, I pushed the kayak very easily, you know, pulled my car back all the way into the garage and then push it up and then pulled it back in. I've tied it up here from the front. It's got some hooks on both ends, as you can see, both sides. So it's pretty tight. And there are some hooks on this end as well. And one on the other side. And I've hooked it up from both ends. And it sticks out, I would say around four feet. So I've tied up from the grip from the back as well, tied up to both ends. And uh, of course the, and when you close the back door, I've used some ties as well here. And then I went out on a test run just to see if there are any issues, if it's issues with, you know, if the kayak's gonna move around. It didn't move around at all. Uh, I know I have to use a red flag here, which I will. So just wanted to test it out, which I did. And it's a lot easier for me than, you know, uh, putting this on the top of my SUV every time, which I don't want to do. I want to avoid this. So for all those people, they have SUVs or forerunners and you have a 10 and a half foot or even 12 foot, you know, you want to haul it back of your uh, SUV, you sure can do it. I mean, I don't know if people are gonna make fun of me or not, I really don't care. This works for me. I can just push it up, push it all the way back, and it works great. So try it out, you know, see if that works for you. If not, you know, just use the, the roof racks. So please uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys have SUVs and uh, you do the same or not. Uh, I don't have a truck. If I did, I would have used the, the T extender in the back which I don't, but this works nicely for me. And, you know, I'm glad that I don't have to worry about you know, or sweat about, you know, uh, pushing up a 90 pound kayak, which is not even rigged, just with the seat. So this works for me. So thank you for watching and please do post your comments below. Tell me what you think. Thank you.